Hi, I'm going to try to do a quick recording on how to use this uh, molecule definition thing um, on the Wiley site. And uh, so don't expect it to be terribly um, organized, but uh, just figured this would help people out a little bit here. So say I wanted to put together um, uh, uh, I guess uh, I was working on silicon carbide. So I'm going to go silicon and make it blue. And silicon is about 0.11 nanometers. I'll let you figure out what it actually is. Um, so we'll just make it blue, register that thing, and uh, make in carbon. And it's going to be cyan. And it's going to be 0.1, which it really isn't. Oh, I guess I got 0.4. OK, there we go. So I got silicon and carbon. And I'm going to now specify their positions. Now we can easily start with 0, 0, 0. And we'll start with silicon like that. <clears throat> and it shows up right here. Now it's um, a little bit dark. Maybe I shouldn't have used blue. So but I can go to yes, full sphere represent. OK, let's just go in, zoom in on that. And um, let's go with uh, uh, what's its position then? OK, so zero, zero, zero. All right, so the next one is going to be um, the x out here is going to be 1 zero zero okay so i made another one out here at one nanometer now that's not the correct scale but um just showing you how i did that so maybe i can uh undo that one and maybe the correct scale is something closer to uh let's see uh 0.14 I'm going to give it 0.15. There we go. Um, something like that. And 0, 0. Oh, that's a little bit too close. So I'll undo that. I think it's supposed to be, should be 0.3. There we go. All right, something closer to that. All right. Um, all right, so next, uh, we're going to go with um, Zero one one. Oops. Zero. Ah, oh, shoot. Zero point three zero. There you go. Okay. So you get that idea, and don't forget point three, point three, point three, and that should be at our one 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 position there. Uh, three, zero. OK. OK. Now, I'm getting the corners here. What about the middles? Well, that should just be halfway over, halfway up. So that's where I was getting my 0 0.15 from. OK, 0 0.15 and Z0. There we go. And then 0 0.15, 0 0.15. And we got that position. OK, great. And how about up on top here? X will be 0.15. Y will also be 0.15. And Z will be 0.3. There we go. All right. Now we're starting to see that site there. Let's go with uh, x as 0.15, y as, oh no, I want x at 0.3. And these two are like this. OK, so now I got this spot. All right, so I wanted to kind of make that fairly obvious what I've got going on here. I think if I go back here, maybe I can change it to um, no, it's not gonna let me change it. No, there's uh, you can't actually edit a lot 
beyond that. So this is pretty annoying, but uh, hopefully you can see this. All right, so now I'm going to throw in the, um, the carbon atom. So I wanna put the carbon atom right inside here. I think maybe my lattice parameters are a little bit too tight, but remember that right inside here is halfway over again. So we had this whole thing here, which is 0.3, halfway over was 0.15. Well, halfway of that is gonna be um, 075. So let's go with X equals, um, so that's gonna be uh, 0.15 plus 0.075 is gonna be uh, 0.225. Yeah, there we go. And Y is gonna be, uh, just the 0.075, and then the Z is gonna be the 0.225. See if I've got that right. There it is, right in the middle there. Okay, so, um, yep, obviously I've got my, you know, other parameters off there, but, um, you know, they're running into each other a little bit too much. But I've got the, uh, I've got the, the ratios down, so you should be able to figure that out. Now, um, let's fill in a couple more of these silicons. So X 0.3, Y 0.3, Z zero. All right. And then X zero, Y 0.3, Z 0.3. Okay. And then we've got X as 0.15, Y as 0.3, and Z as 0.15, I think. And that should go in the middle. Okay, good. So now we have what looks like a face-centered cubic kind of thing with a, um, with a carbon thrown into an interstitial site here. So this is really, you know, a, um, I guess that's zinc blend uh, structure, but, uh, or um, no, it's not zinc blend. It's obviously uh, diamond. There we go, diamond structure. So that's what we're looking at. Now, question, if this one here, I guess um, supposedly you should be able to double click on it and change it. Okay, um, I don't know if that's actually true, but um, uh, what if we had a stacking fault, okay? If we had a stacking fault, then instead of doing this A, B, C, A, we would have A, B, C, B. So we would wanna, this one should, instead of being here, should be in this site, well, or it's harder to see, but this site here, okay? So A, B, C, B, this one should be shifted over just a little bit here, but that's a little bit harder to figure out. But when you think about it, this one here is at like the one, one, one position in, in the cell. Okay, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, close enough. But it's at the one, one, one position, so it, you know, this one could translate up one, one, one to here. So any one of these, the, the next one in its position going this direction, you know, uh, normal to this uh, one, one, one plane. So looking at it like this, normal going up this direction is gonna be a full one, one, one. Well, if you have a stacking fault, you, you get there, too fast. So in fact, you're only shifting this one instead of a full one, 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 you're going two thirds of it. So it'd be 0.667 or whatever you wanted to, if you got to enter it in in decimals. But in this case, I used a, a multiple of three. So I just need to create ones that are just 0 0.3, sorry, point, yes, well, two thirds of 0.3, so 0.2 off of where you would have normally put them. So this one here, these ones here are on that B plane. 
A, B, C. So I'm going to make a new B plane. Let's see if it lets me double click. I don't think it's going to uh, it cause me some problems before. But so what I need to do is I need to look at this one here and then, or this one here, since I already double clicked on it, and add 0.2 to each one of those things. So this one here was a 0.15 and X, 0.15 and Y, and... Uh, zero in Z. So I need to add two to each of point two to each of those. So let's double click on this again. Okay, that seemed to work. Um, and so point one two and X plus point two is going to be point three five. And same thing in Y point three five. And then in Z, it's just going to be point two because it was uh, zero. Right, so that's going from this one up. Let's hope I can. So we we expect it to show up right next door here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, it was supposed to edit that one, but it didn't work out for whatever reason. Okay. So that one put there. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the other th other ones on this row here, uh, on, on this uh, um, this one here. So we got. The next one here is going to be from down below that carbon atom. So I move this one. I'm going to move this one, which was um, y is 0, and the other two are 0.15. So this is going to be 0.35. y was 0, so it's 0.2. z is 0.35. Just your atom position. There it is. OK. And then I'm going to do the same with um, the other one. So it was just going to be x was 0. So x is 0.2. And y and z are each 0.35. All right. Yeah, I think that's how it worked. Ta-da. All right, so there's that. So the other ones that were on that plane are like this one here. So this one was. Uh, x point three, so this is going to be point five, adding point two to it. Y and z were both zero, so point two, point two, and I just made another one on that plane, and then this one was point two, y was point five, z is point two, register item position, and then I'm um, going to do the same thing here. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. OK, so now you can see, in fact, that I'm making effectively a hexagonal close pact. So um, this layer up on top here, this layer down here, and this layer here are just an ABA situation. So you can see the stacking, it becomes a stacking fault. And this is what our original was in there. I wish I had made this a different color. Oh, wait, I already did that. OK, so you can see here with what I did, um, a little bit easier to see, perhaps, uh, is the yellow and this one here were um, my original. And there are the carbon atoms in between. And then the green is my stacking fault. So I'm going to make another one here. Oh, I guess I won't make another one. But um, the numbers are all different. I forgot what they were. So, um, but this green layer is a, a kind of a copy of this yellow layer here. So A, B, C, B. Whereas this was about to, you know, the, this one here was going to be the next layer of A. All right. Well, I hope that that helped you out in how to construct uh, this in the uh, Wiley um, in the Wiley software, but it also might help you uh, construct it in any other kind of uh, solid modeling situation. Uh, at least you know how to um, uh, set them up in terms of coordinates. All right.